Shalom, guys. I hope that you're enjoying your day. Thanks for joining for a Just Because reading. Uh, if you are returning, welcome back. If you are brand spanking new, welcome to this channel. Um, I show all sides of myself. Sometimes I'm very, very bold. I just feel the energy when I am reading, and uh, I don't have a problem with giving a what for. Uh, I am uh, using all kinds of things uh, for my readings. I don't put the spirit in a box. I use the runes, the tarot, the homemade decks, the scripture, the living language. I just, whatever's coming through my spirit, if it's upright and truthful, uh, then it'll, it'll be addressed that way. Uh, so anyway, Jehovah Elohim is uh, the maker and ruler over everything and he's tangible here on this channel. And, uh, he's my salvation. He's my Yeshua and, uh, he's just beautiful. Uh, so anyway, welcome. If you stay, if not, if you hadn't heard clicked off, this is where we'll depart. Uh, happy birthday, happy anniversary and all that kind of stuff. So I want to take a look at two sides of things and just see uh, where people are at energetically. Um, I just did a reading and uh, I, I, I felt sick to my stomach for somebody who is really grieving and has lost their spouse or uh, children. Uh, it was really suggesting that somebody really had lost somebody hard. And Jehovah had stated last night when I did a reading, and if you are new, I just chit-chat sometimes with my audience. Um, but Jehovah had stated that something that was coming uh, in the very near future was death to somebody. And uh, we've often gotten that scripture that came out, that's, and it actually came out today in one of my readings, that those uh, people who oftentimes had to be reproved over and over and over again, that just kept stiffening their neck, stiffening their neck, uh, something just like that out of the blue was going to take place, and there wasn't going to be any type of remedy for somebody. And um, that energy was all over that reading that I just did. It made me sick to my stomach. It makes me stick to my stomach because there's no reason why people have to act uh, in pride. There's no reason for it. And none of us has never fallen down or ever gotten into that haughty mode before, but we've had to learn through that. And, and people who can learn will get up and they will teach from that place. And um, like I always teach, you know, you and I find out who we are when we go through those moments. And um, I don't know, it, just, it, it, it grieves me. It really grieves me that anybody has to be an enemy or if some some things that have gotten started and people why, why is this why would somebody treat me that way or never sit down and have a conversation but for some reason have some type of hatred uh, the Holy Spirit just told me that somebody and some some of this stuff is probably past energy uh, but I'm being impressed in my spirit uh, that somebody caused something and said something to cause a uh, uh, a creation of something. Uh, and this is actually what was coming out of that, that uh, reading. And it's coming through my spirit, being impressed by the Holy Spirit to, 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 to relay it to somebody. Somebody is, has caused a hatred in somebody's heart uh, by a, and this came out before, by a misunderstanding because of what somebody else said. Whether that person, some people do that on purpose because they got envy or jealousy in their heart and then they go and they do it on purpose and then they cause so and so over here to look at somebody and go and then instead of never going and addressing that, they just, they over time, they believe what so and so said and uh, then it caused nothing but just a big ruckus and people wondering what, why, why do you hate me? What I ever do to you and never knowing that so-and-so started it or that person just took what so-and-so said and let something just be buried down into their own soul and it's what a shame and that's what devil energy does that's what devil energy does and some things have gotten so bad because people sit there and they have just for so long just watered that thing it's become a huge tree and they just keep picking off of it and eating it and eating it because they love the lie of the thing. And to hear the truth, it just seems so bizarre because for so long somebody just been sitting there on that crap. And it's a real shame and it's an injustice to the one that it happened to. And it's, the, it's an injustice to the one who, who bought the lie and got themselves up in it and couldn't release something. And they loved to listen to the lie because it felt so, uh, they believed it when it was told to them. And uh, it's just a real shame. It's a real shame people lose their life over that stuff. And um, so if, if, you know, 
you're, if, if, I'm, if that's speaking to you and there's somebody around you that you just, you just ignore like the plague and you've never sat down with that person at all, but because what so-and-so said about that person, but you never just sat down and just had a freaking conversation to find out for yourself if what so-and-so said was true or not. Uh, something's wrong with that then. Something wrong with people not being grown up enough to say what, what's going on here. And sometimes things are true and sometimes people are afraid to, to go approach that thing because something could be dangerous around it as well. Or at least it could uh, have grown to be something dangerous because of other people getting involved in things that become a, a creation of somebody else's. It's really huge, people. It really is. That's why we're seeing so many people fall. We keep seeing that, um, well, we, we, we had the scripture state not too long ago that Jehovah said that the stars were going to fall, and I wrote it, read it right out of Isaiah. And then we've been seeing nothing except for the um, Aquarian energy, and we all have that in our church somewhere. But that energy of knowing something, because we're all under the procession of that house now. We've entered into that, so that's why it's so huge. But, but that tower that came down, and I pointed out this morning how there was a bunch of people falling out of that tower for pride and ego. Don't want to look at well god i bought a lie now that makes me look bad i bought the stupid thing and now i gotta humble myself and i shouldn't even got it's just it's just a oh what a tangle web we weave type of a thing and somebody's lost their life today because of something like that it was really coming out of that reading and i was grieving at my spirit and because i know what that feels like I know what that feels like. Somebody started something uh, at, towards me and said something. And I went and addressed a person. And something from that, because of, of my hurt and anger, something from that got caused, uh, 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 something was told and, and then circulated that was a lie. And then it's just become, and then people have gotten killed from it. It's just stupidness. It's crazy, people. It is craziness. People literally lost their soul through the thing. To me, it's grieving uh, on the inside of my spirit in such a deep uh, um, place. I just can't even... I mean, I've recorded about it for the last three years. And um, people think they're going to keep me in prison in my own house because I know the truth. It just ain't going to work. You just can't keep me bound because I'm not bound. I'm free. I'll get up and go and do what I want. And if I meet somebody, I'll have a conversation with whoever I want because nobody owns me. I'm not owned by the devil like some people are. And they're chained there in, in that darkness. And I'm just not afraid of it. Just not. Uh, it's, it's just a really, it's a really sad, it's a really sad thing to know that people just, they just can't get out of their own head. They got that line of confusion just constantly going in their own head. And I just refuse to live that way. It's a real shame. It's real shame. But anyway, I just wanted to address that. Let's go ahead and just draw a few cards since I'm already almost nine minutes into this or a little over eight minutes into this thing. Uh, let's get started. I thank you, Jehovah, for clear to find messages. I just ask for the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Jehovah, rebuke every foul, demonic, wicked energy right here, right now. And I ask that peace would come to the weary person's soul. There's nothing impossible with you. If people will just call out upon your name, you said all who would call out upon your name would be saved. You would make a way of escape. Some people think they're chained to the devil, and that's a lie. If you, if you can hear today, you can be released from that, but you've got to call out upon Jehovah. And so we have men coming out here and this is waking up from some type of a growling uh, energy here and uh, this is the death energy a flood the sea a spring just springing up here this is rain here this is a sea of people who what when we're had this happen just like what I was talking about and then we have the new generation children rest a river a soul eternity a prophet inheritance situations from death is here heir to a kingdom faithful energy though is here and salvation and deliverance is here okay obviously this is a river and we've got fish and something's taking place by sea. And the pictograph looks like a little sperm here. And so we've got secret children and things like that that people have tried to hide as well from secret sex, money, and property. That's the death card. All right, we also have a ruler here and a punishment from a ruler or an officer or an overseer or some type of a dominion energy here. And then we also have the Zion, uh, the letter Z is here. We have somebody's been in a maze here. 
uh, because of the news that's been just like who, what, when, where, how. That's what I'm exactly what I was talking about. Exactly what I'm talking about. It's time for people to wake up. The people are growling because they're waking up and knowing some things, knowing some things about a leadership and things like that where death is concerned and things that have been cut and their their food and their crop and their jobs and and everything else. Um, wow. And, and uh, that, that's just, that's heavy energy. That's really heavy energy here. And uh, we got the tapestry here at the bottom of the deck. And that's, some people just want to show you one side of who they are. And um, th they've never showed you the other side, but the it takes both sides of the tapestry. The ugly side and the positive, beautiful side that you get in the look at uh, to understand the truth. Okay. And uh, anyway, so we get the tapestry there. There's a covering cloth somewhere. Yeah, somebody was blackmailed and paid off to do something by a bribe. And I've been seeing that bribe. It's underneath that tapestry. I've been seeing that bribe today. And actually, it came out in one of the element readings. And uh, somebody yesterday was bribed or paid off to go do something. And it's just it didn't pay off for them. All they do is just cause a curse in the earth when they do that. And somebody can't get up and go... Do whatever they do. They pay somebody off to do their dirty work just because they like to cause crap. And they get people's souls in a trap. And it's really sad. It's really, really sad. Yo, but what do you want to bring out here for this reading, please? So the tower, like I said, people, we're just going to keep seeing this tower come out. It's huge. Something is known. And like I said, there's all kinds of people just, boom, just falling out of it because of things that are known, because of the pride and ego, because it's got to come down. And those people who will harden their heart over and over and over in their rebellion, there's no remedy for this then. If you just keep hardening, it'll just keep coming down. Keep, the crown's just literally just going to fall off every single time. You don't get to wear a crown. You don't get to sit in any type of kingship or rulership or anything like that. Uh, there's a punishment on somebody who wears a crown, somebody who's in, in uh, leadership who has hardened their heart over and over. They were an overseer of something. They knew information. They should have done the right thing, but they didn't. They caused a freaking uh, confusion. They created some type of who, what, when, where, how, maybe even on the internet between a lot of people, and then they couldn't get out of something. They just showed one side of the freaking tapestry and by God there's eternity here then with this and so this is a disaster people this is just a freaking disaster here what's at the bottom of this deck the shin, the teeth, the chewing, the wisdom, the understanding. There's a hidden app on the internet and there's secret money. And there's lots of fortune and, and it's been created and somebody in leadership knows about it. They know about it. And like I said there's been deaths that have come because of that it's just grown and grown and grown in the tower and the pride. And now it's it's coming down and it's taking all kinds of people with them. Because they wanted to believe some stupidness that's taking place. And some people just being cut just like that. It's huge, people. It's really huge what's out here. So we have hope. And some people need to hope against hope. This is truth setting people free. If you can, if you can just hope even in your rubble. Uh, then you, you really just need to, to uh, stand and connect with Jehovah, okay? And he will, he will allow you to have a paradigm shift within that disastrous thing that has happened today. That's sex as well there with the tower, okay? And with a lot of people, because there's a lot of people throwing it, uh, their hands up while they're going down. Uh, that have been mixed up in sexual situations, taking bribes, okay, and stuff like that. So the chain, the devil, yes, and this is also a boss energy, but there's a chain of darkness that is reserved for the devil and his angels, what we're told in scripture. This is bank systems and stuff too. There's lots of money, but it was, it was created in a very devilish way. And we do have, um, so a punishment from a ruler, uh, from some type of an overseer, an officer is here, okay? Just like uh, Jehovah has brought out here. There's justice here, and the sun is in justice. So somebody is balancing with clarity and hoping uh, uh, to heal something, hopefully. Um, something that they know that has been used. Somebody has been used. This is I use. I know that I use, somebody says. I know that I use, and I got clarity in it, and somebody's skills are not balanced. They're biased. Somebody has been biased here in a situation because they're, this is industry stuff. Uh, the, the negative, this is somebody's ex. This is marriages and divorces, right? We have a strength card that keeps coming out today. 
And this street card uh, can talk about sovereignty, and only Elohim is sovereign. But the pillar's broken. The pillars broke. We're told that the pillars hold up, uh, hold up the earth itself, right? Well, we got earth, we got time, thing, things that have happened over time. But pride and ego will knock that down every single time. So somebody in leadership is in big, big trouble. This came out the other day. It really did come out the other day uh, when I was uh, when I was doing a reading that some somebody in rulership was in big trouble, and that's why. Uh, somebody tried to pay somebody off to, to stop something again from being known, but it, it every single time because of the, this also pride in, in, in ego in the Hebrew, uh, but every single time because of that prideful piercing energy that they're under, it'll just they just they they're dumb. They can't they just can't learn the lesson. People they just, they're sold their soul. They're just piercing all the time. They're, they're high minded because they're genius. There they are, but they're they're so genius in their own eyes. They, they just look like an ass every single time. They really, really do. This is an A. Anus. Uranus. Your Uranus. Okay? Is what is said to rule over this house. Okay? And this is um, also said to be the father of Saturn. Satan. Okay? So we got generational. Like father, like son is what I'm also hearing here. Whatever that is. Okay? Whatever that is. But the A and then the Samach and or the Sin... Uh, is the Hebrew letters. We have an ass here, okay? Um, anyway, something something has been used. Somebody used somebody for sex and money, and it's here. And somebody was hoping that, that something would really grow and be magnificent, but it wasn't. Okay, it's fallen. Sin is fun for a season, the scripture says, but afterward it brings a destruction and death, okay? It really, really, really does, people. It really, really does. It never pays off. It really doesn't. So we have a verdict and a judge here. Well, we have an officer here. Somebody is getting punished. Okay, this conversation's going on, but this goes back to judges. Okay, somebody judging something here um, within something. Yes, yeah, somebody's been put in a place of melancholy where they've had this hope against hope, people. Really just hope against hope. Uh, it's huge. People, what's coming out here is really huge. Uh, the scholar is here. Okay, this could be somebody that, you know, that you, obviously if it's, it's some type of rule or somebody looks up to, that, to somebody who's got some type of information. Yeah, there's sorrow here. Uh, like I said, this goes back to somebody who's a widow as well. And, and that was that card came up and there was death all over the place. There really was. It, and it was coming out in, in all kinds of different ways. Um, it's huge. It, it really is huge here, people. I'm going to take a couple more cards here. Yehovah, well, what else do you want to bring out here about this reading? What else do you want to bring out here? Somebody's in a lot of despair because the tower that came down. You know, look, people, and you would get other people, that many people. Um, yeah, there's the grave. Somebody has died, and somebody knows that some, some type of death is here. They just know it. There's no escaping it now, or something like that. Um, somebody's got a lot of blood. I'm shaking. Because it's just so profound to me. Somebody knows also that what they used and what they created that's coming down. Because the devil knows his time is short. It's over. That they've, they, they've got a lot of blood on their hands. It's not just their own life coming down. They got a lot of blood on their hands. There's a lot of people here uh, involved in this. That they have deceived and lied about and stolen from and killed and murdered and put in a maze and how did this happen and uh, it's a, there's a there's a flood there's a fire flood coming and there's a lot of people who's got a lot of blood on their hands because the divine said that the sword was coming let's go back to swords it's a, it's a hard hit people it really really is so we have um, a gentleman here. And this is a significant person, a businessman, right? A partner, your partner. If this is your partner, it's your officer or a judge or somebody who sits on a bench or, some, or a scholar of some kind. Uh, then somebody's dying here. If, if, this, if this is this boss that's nasty, then we want this out. As, as grievous as it may be to somebody. Somebody was told today on one of my readings that somebody plays both sides. You don't want that in the earth. You really don't. That Those type of people are nasty people. And I'm sorry if you found out that somebody that you were were with was nasty like that. I send you love and light. It's, it, it makes me sick to my stomach, really. Uh, but we have the gentleman here. 
and we have the domestic home and residence here as well or something's taking place within family with this house okay and um, this is materialism with this house as well a lot of money a lot of money is like I said there was a hidden app online and uh, somebody has used somebody hard and something's over it's very much known about people it really is very much known about we have the K the A is here the S and AA is here. Somebody could have been a heavy drinker or on drugs really bad. The sex, drugs, and rock and roll here. Um, we have the K is here as well. That's legal stuff as well. The cake. And um, what is the... Um, I don't remember what that strength card would be. Give me just a second. Um, that would be the, the Het. Which would be the judgment card. Death energies. Uh, passing from one space to the next, and that that go back to the grave. Some somebody's died. Somebody really has died. And we got the mem over here, and the noon, and both of those go back to death. So somebody really did get cut somehow. Some there's some type of big punishment, or there's just been a big death to to a situation here that somebody it's over for some somebody. Uh, it's huge, and there's a verdict here. There's really a verdict here. And so we got the X here showing up here. Somebody from the past, children. Okay, the courthouse is showing up here then this is nostalgia somebody come back around wouldn't forgive then i guess they didn't forgive they lost their life i guess um that's horrible that's just horrible because somebody's punished now if somebody was keeping family away and this person's now getting punished and then somebody now can come back around to heal something then they can okay but there is somebody's been put out of necessity their food their crop the x in, in one of the X is uh, in the um, runes, it looks like an X is an N, and we got the N there, and that's necessity. That's rebellion energy. Yes, people, we got somebody who's dying. Let the, the divine stated that somebody was going to. Uh, there's a situation around death already, and there's lots of money uh, that has been created, and something's been uh, stolen and hid where uh, inheritances have been uh, affected by that. Really, really hard. Yeah, look, you, look, something's horrible here, people. Something's real. There's the devil again. And the devil came out twice today um, on one of my readings. Something's been a hairy beast of a problem. Here's twice, people. Something was nasty here. Really was nasty here. Double. There's huge money and huge pride and huge piercing, and something's broken in half here. There's a verdict here. Huge on somebody. Man, this is huge. Uh, there's a big, 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 big punishment here. Huge. Straight from, straight from the divine. Somebody's brought a plague here in a very bad, 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 bad way. Uh, because it's karmic. Somebody done something really bad and it's caused a karmic activity on that person. Um, we will probably be hearing about this a very big bit. This somebody probably cares, uh, throws people out. They don't care. Uh, just leave people out in the cold or somebody's going to feel it just as bad as they've done it or worse. Okay, they're going down to the pit of hell. The queen of pentacles is here at the top. Uh, this somebody's in the negative. We're talking about negative energy that's just a disaster. This is uh, pride and um, stubbornness and is just as, as a sin of rebellion. This is jealousy and greed and envy in the negative. In the positive, this is somebody's mother, this is somebody's giving, this is somebody's sister, a boss, a manager, as somebody who's just very nurturing. And if this person got taken advantage of, then they did. Somebody, though, it is being punished for something that's taken place here in a really bad way for this kind of crap. Pride and ego. Somebody just freaking bent all the dang time, and I don't care, and by God, you can't win, and it's a game to me, and I don't, I'm nasty, and that stuff. I hate this card in this deck, because this is, that's, that's why Jehovah's got to come in and just bam, bam, just like that. And I'm feeling it, people. I really am feeling it. Somebody's losing their life. Somebody is, because they're, they're just the nasty, lying sack of crap all the time. They didn't know that there was a rope here for them. Uh, somebody somebody going to lose their life and because of secrets and the other person and everything else. And all this stupid fighting all the freaking time with other people. It's all they do is brought a ruckus because they try to hide something that they created. There's a great big punishment for somebody here. There's a death, man. There really is. I hate to give this word, but um, by God. Uh, Jehovah's addressing this, and he stated that there was going to be a death that would occur, and it's going to be huge. It's affecting a lot of people. Like I said, somebody's got a lot of blood on their hands when they stand before the great one. Shalom, y'all.